Uh, yeah, what does my typical day look like um, as a real estate investor, full-time real estate investor? It really varies a lot from day to day. I mean, I think that uh, the majority of my days are, you know, mostly clerical at this point, which kind of, it sucks to be honest. Like I don't, I don't love sitting in front of my computer all day, but that's just a, a, one of the necessary things that uh, I need to do sometimes as a, as a developer. But I think I split my time pretty evenly now. I basically do about half time with, uh, with everything that has to do with development. And then the other half of my time is uh, dedicated to my education program and uh, my students and uh, all of the things uh, around that. But I, I'm not a person that like loves to get up, you know, first thing in the morning. So I try not to set an alarm. Uh, I usually get up around somewhere around 6.30 or 7. My new routine, which I'm really actually enjoying, is, is uh, I go take my dog for a walk, come back, and then I'll go to the gym, try to get that out of the way first thing in the morning, and uh, I arrive back home, I'll have some breakfast, and I sit down and start working usually around 10 a.m. So I don't have any meetings scheduled before 10 a.m. and my first couple meetings are with my team, so again, like half, uh, half an hour with on the development side, half an hour on the education side and the marketing side. And then I kind of just uh, have what I call productivity time. So that's for me an opportunity to have two dedicated hours with no other meetings going on where I might be, you know, producing content or I might be going over some finances or paying bills or doing whatever I need to do to feel productive for that day. So I try to get some some big sort of big things happening in that time. So, you know, uh, one of my coaches calls them like dark green activities. So it's like finding those things that are actually going to generate revenue for your business. So I try to use that productivity time to do that. And then after that, you know, I'll have a little bit of a break for lunch, usually from like one until two. And uh, in the afternoon, that's kind of just like scattered and filled with different things that need to be done throughout the day. So sometimes there's time where I have to, you know, put out some, some fires on the various different businesses that are going on. Or sometimes it's just meeting with potential investors or talking to my students or anything like that. But the afternoon time from about two o'clock until five o'clock is, is usually just filled with meetings and other things. And if I have to do site visits for the various projects, that's usually where that comes in as well. If I need to meet with our subcontractors or our builders on site, that usually falls into that afternoon time. And then after that, I, um, I basically uh, go for another walk with my dog, uh, usually somewhere around six o'clock. And then my evenings are kind of like dedicated to, you know, time for me. And some nights I have to actually host different meetings, like on Wednesdays we have our Synergy Mastermind. Tuesday nights I sometimes have coaching calls. Uh, Thursday nights I actually teach yoga. So I teach yoga once a week at my, my buddy Paul's studio, and I really enjoy that. And then yeah, weekends I try to, as best I can, take time off and not really focus on anything other than just you know taking some time for me and spending time with friends and family and and uh, going and eating good dinners and eating good food and drinking nice wine. And so, yeah, that's kind of like what my weekends look like. So it's, you know, there's not a lot of routine in my day in terms of like the things that I deal with on a regular basis, but there is a lot of routine in terms of how I set up my day and how I try to move throughout my week. So it's something that's taken me a while to figure out, but I, I'm really enjoying the schedule that I have now because it has that balance of productivity time for me. It has balance of time with my team when they need some support from me. Um, and it also has uh, time for me to kind of like chill and relax and have some, some time off. So uh, yeah, that's a typical day in the life of uh, me as an investor.